Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a, uh, another episode of Shoot the Street Outdoors. I've done a Tacoma review video. Today, we're testing out how well the 2019 Toyota Tacoma tows a bass boat. So how this is going to go down, you know, we're in the Tacoma driving all the way back to uh, Montgomery, Texas. I got to be going to Willis, which is like 10 minutes from my house to drop off my boat. That's where I'm going to be storing it. It's a really nice facility. I'm paying double what I paid back home in uh, Ardmore, but that's okay. Better facility, better money, I understand. Um, so what we're going to be doing, we're going to be driving down the road. I'm going to show you my average fuel economy. You know, there's this little ECT e -C -T power button. I'm going to try that. Don't know what all the videos I've watched have talked about. That is supposed to be like a tow haul deal. So we're loaded up. I'm actually finishing moving all my stuff back down to Texas into my apartment because I'm full-time Texas resident now. But having said that, we're uh, like I said, I'll be showing you my average miles per gallon. I'll reset everything. Right now on idle, I'm averaging 1.6 miles a gallon. We're just on idle mode. Um, I'll show you the RPMs, what I, where I think the sweet spot is, and everything. So let's uh, let's hit the road. We gotta drive safely too. As you can tell we've been driving for about an hour and a half i went through dallas i didn't do any filming while i was in dallas mainly because it was um, it was mass chaos with all the turns and the exits and the construction i, I just didn't feel comfortable filming or whatever but speed limit 65 i've got the cruise set on 60 we're just kind of rolling um, i've got the etc power turned on it's actually working pretty well i mean i'm averaging 12.6 miles a gallon which all that uh all my buddies who have tundras average about 10 to 12 miles per gallon so it's it's about the same as if i'd got a tundra um but it, it handles very well this setup handles very well the only thing i might need to do is buy myself a drop hitch because i got a lift on this truck and my boat's riding up at an angle which is causing you can feel the wind drag on the bottom of that sucker but other than that it's pulling great um you know it, when I when I break and slow down it handles really well too I don't feel like I'm you know it's pushed me around the back I believe the um, the towing on this sucker is 7200 pounds correct me if I'm wrong or I'll put it put it in here somewhere and then the uh, the tongue weight I believe it's 1500 pounds which this boat isn't that heavy on the tongue uh, but other than that, it, like I said, it's riding really good. There's a good shot of it. I mean, it makes my boat look bigger, so that, that kind of made me excited. Um, the lights work very well. It handles very well. Um, it, you know, I, I'll give it some gas, and it takes off. It doesn't struggle like my old Ford. I had a Ford Ranger before I had my F-150, for those of you who used to watch my old, old videos. And, uh first couple times I pulled this boat with my Ranger it struggled I mean it really really struggled but this thing at 3.5 liter v6 motors it's it's doing good so we're gonna do I plan on stopping about once uh, about once an hour get out and do a 360 walk around check lugs tires bearings you know make sure we don't have any leaks make sure it's all good so stay tuned and I will show you cuz uh, I'll show you how to do a 360 walk around when, next time I stop all right, when it comes to a 360 walk around, you want to check your hubs, or your wheel, I'm sorry, you want to check your lugs, your tires, your tread, air pressure, air gauge, whatever. It's got, most trucks nowadays have automatic ones, but when you get to um, your actual wheels on your trailer, you want to reach up, fill them, make sure they're not hot, make sure the, tra the you know, the, the rim and hub is tightened down as tight as it can go. Make sure you, know, you check for wear and tear on the tread. You check air pressure. So you're looking here. There's no, uh, there's no hub oil or hub grease anywhere. Uh, your lights are still working. Well, just do a walk around. Make sure everything's secure. Uh, you know, on this side too. You know, it's not, it's not hot. It feels good. You can touch it. If you can touch it, that's usually when you go wrong. Or if you can't touch it, that's usually when you go wrong. Make sure this is tight lights are still hooked up i don't like this design because i feel like it at some point it's going to pull the wires out but that's how all trucks are designed nowadays uh check the trolling motor make sure it's secure i got some bug spotter marks uh everything looks pretty good nothing's flown out so we're good 
all my tools and extra tackle in the back looks good so yeah Tacoma's doing really good right now I'm impressed I am really 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 impressed yeah uh, welcome back guys we, we're uh, we're actually we've got an hour since the last time I've talked to you this is a little bumpy it's because a little about I have it on it's kind of bumpy or whatever but uh, no it's it's driving really really good a lot better than I anticipated it this truck does push out 278 horsepower when it's in the red line um, the only thing I've noticed that uh, about this truck is it likes to downshift um, get up it likes to tow like if I set the cruise control it automatically go up into higher RPMs which I'm not a fan of I like to keep it around between two and three thousand which is really good for towing in my opinion I, I mean I could be totally wrong but that's just what I've always done um, you know it, the, the boat doesn't feel like it's trying to pull me around or anything um, now, surprisingly it does a really really good job I, like I said I don't feel like it's trying to jerk me all over the road it tows really good with the lift my in the weight of the tongue of the trailer the boat and my truck sits really, actually it's almost perfectly level so you know I'm, I'm averaging uh, let's see what I'm, what I'm getting now it's I'm still getting 12.9 miles to the gallon which isn't bad and like I say it, it feels really good you know there's a couple times the only thing that I've really really noticed is the tires on the Tacoma are more narrow, obviously, than the boat trailer. But when you get into, if you're going down a road that hasn't been like redone in a while, you get the grooves from all the traffic, and you'll feel that trailer get in and it'll pull your truck over. Which I mean, it's not that big of a jerk. It's just it's like whoa every time you do it. Other than that, I mean, this is a really great truck. I'm running, I'm running 65, 70 all the way home. I've gone, you know, it's it right now it's at 25,000 uh, RPMs. Uh, it's really good. I can't complain. This is a solid buy. You know, this is what I bought it for. Everyone's like, well, you bought it for off-road. No, I, I bought it to be a daily driver and to pull a boat. Um, that, that's what I do. I don't do any off-roading. I'm going to do a little bit, but the, I bought this truck because what I, the goal is, I didn't know whether I wanted to buy a big, uh, a new power stroke, or put a, a gooseneck camper, then my boat behind it, or or get an F-150 and just tow this or whatever. And I started looking, and a lot of guys, what they're doing is on the Overlanders, they'll put the bed rack, the tent top, hard shell tent, and that's what I want to do. So when I go to a fishing tournament or go on a fishing trip, you know, I just pull in, uh, leave the boat on the truck, just pop up the tent, go in and sleep the next morning, collapse it all down, drop it in the water, and boom, we're at the tournament fishing. But that's coming in due time. The next thing I want to get for this truck is obviously the bed rack. And then I'm gonna get the, um, the the tent top or the the, the uh, rooftop tent. But yeah, it, it handles nicely. Sorry for all the clutter in the back. Like I said, I'm moving down to Texas, and or I'm finishing the move. I've got a lot of things down in my apartment now. I'm just finishing the last of it. I'll take you guys on a tour uh, of my boat storage. It's a lot more expensive down here in Texas, but they're also a lot nicer than what I had back in Ardmore. Other than that, you guys stay tuned. We will see y'all here in a little bit. Voice crack every time. Well, we've officially made it back home here in Montgomery, Texas. I've already dropped the boat off. I was just, I forgot to film it, but I was just so excited to drop it off and get it in its new home. I just, I just kept going. But anyways, overall, the the truck handled very well on my I averaged about 12.9 miles a gallon I did have I did have a few issues with the truck I don't like how it downshifts all the time but I I understand why the truck works like that it's just it's how Toyota designed it and it, it, that's fine um, you could always just take off the cruise control and slow down and it'll shift into gear for you or you can um, you could shift it with in sport mode other than that as um, soon as I took the boat off the truck it already jumped back up to 18.9 miles a gallon this has been a fun road trip um we're actually going to put the boat on the lake tonight on lake conroe we're going to watch the fireworks from the water i might do a little bit of filming there but as always you guys be safe whether you're driving fishing whatever you're doing